guys, it's Jenny. Welcome back to Solid Gold. This week I'm doing a tank talk vlog. I decided I'd do another fish room update since there have been a few things that I changed and I have some more baby fish to show and I thought you would like to look around the fish room again. So you can see right away there's a new tank down here. I have a 40 gallon breeder tank that I got from Petco's dollar per gallon sale. I also got a 10 gallon tank at the same time. I did paint the back and the bottom black on the outside and I, a few of you have requested videos showing how to do that. So I went ahead and filmed painting the 40 gallon breeder tank. So hopefully I'll get a tutorial ready for you guys in the next one or two months here. So in the 40 gallon tank here, I have some spawning mops that are full of butterfly telescope eggs. I finally got the butterflies to breed again. I kind of put them through a miniature hibernation period where I just shortened the photo period so that means the lights were on for less time each day. And I also lowered the temperature a little bit. And then I also cut back on feeding a little bit. So all those things help simulate like sort of a winter or a dormancy period for them. And then once you um, make, make conditions that seem like spring, so you would start to lengthen the photo period again, feed them a little bit more, and also raise the temperature a little bit, then that will trigger spawning because they'll think that it's spring. So I started trying to simulate spring a little bit just by lengthening the photo period, feeding them a tiny bit more and raising the temperature just a little bit. And they responded to it really quickly. They actually started chasing right away. Like all the males were chasing the females around. They were especially chasing Minai. She's the big red and white female. And then so I put in some spawning mops and then the very next day there were eggs on the spawning mops. So I went ahead and put them in the 40 gallon breeder tank and then I only filled up the 40 gallon tank um, about five inches or so because when the fry hatch they have to swim to the surface and fill up their swim bladders with air and if the surface is too far up then they can't make it that far. The eggs have been in there for about four days now. I think today is the fourth day and they started hatching today. You can see them just laying all over the bottom in there and some of them are attached to the spawning mops too just kind of hanging out in there and they're gonna just lay around for a little bit, but eventually they'll start swimming around. They'll go up to the surface and fill up their swim bladders with air, and then they'll start swimming around a little bit more. And once their eggs, they they have a yolk sac that's attached to them from when they were in the egg. And once that runs out, they start looking for food. So that's when you would start feeding them baby brine shrimp. So that's really exciting. As you can see, a lot of the eggs in here are very white and which means that they're fungused over. You can see like fungus growing on them. And I had a really hard time removing them because at least half of them, maybe even more, were fungused over. And they're very, like, goldfish eggs get stuck onto things super, super well. So it's really hard to remove them. If there were just like a few here and there that were fungus, I would have removed them. But since like maybe even over half of them were, I just left them. Um, you do want to remove them if possible though because they can spread the fungus to the good eggs. So I think what happened is only a few of them, or only about half or so, were actually fertilized and the rest weren't. So the ones that aren't fertilized are going to get fungus over like that. It's going to be probably a small batch of fry, maybe only 50 or so if that. So I'm a little bit bummed out about that. I was hoping for a lot. but. At the same time, it is my first batch of butterfly fry, so maybe it's good that there's a smaller amount of them, so I'm not super overwhelmed, because I'm probably going to be learning a lot with this first batch, and I might make beginner mistakes just like I did with my Bristol fry, which I will tell you about later. <laughs> so um, yeah, so it's probably a good thing that this batch is a little bit smaller and I can just kind of learn with this one. And then I have the 60 gallon tub here, which is empty, as you can see. I had to move Luca and Felix out of it and move them into the 127 gallon tub. Ideally, I did want to keep them separate since I don't want Luca and Felix to breed with the other ones, but I had a heater malfunction. I was doing a water change and I stupidly did not unplug the heater even though I know better. And all of a sudden I smelled burning and realized the heater was crackling and smoking. And so it actually ended up cracking open. So the one in the 127 gallon broke and so I had to take the one from the heater from the 60 gallon tub 
and then Luca and Felix were without a heater and the basement is really really cold so their water would have got down to like 50 degrees so I moved them over to the 127 gallon tub so now the 60 gallon is empty I did get new heaters in the mail and I just haven't put it in there yet because I don't really have a need to use the 60 gallon tub at the moment anyways but I think I'm actually gonna save room in the 60 gallon tub for when the butterfly fry get a little bigger so I have somewhere to move them to when I need it. Everyone's doing really well in the 127 gallon tub. About a week ago or so I moved all of them into the 40 gallon tank and set it up all nice and took some nice video footage of them so I can actually see them and you guys can actually see them from the side for once. So I'm hopefully going to be uploading that in a week or two here so you guys can see how adorable and awesome they are from the side as well as from the top so stay tuned for that because that will be coming up soon also and then over here in the 55 gallon tank you can see way more ghost bristol babies than i had in here last time so this is the second batch of fry from my ghost bristols i'm guessing that there's at least 200 all the ghost bristol babies are in here and these guys are looking really good i'm really excited to see how these guys develop the first batch however that i raised um that were hatched a while ago they didn't turn out very well and part of it I think part of it was because it was the first spawn that these young fish had had a lot of times the a fish's first spawn of, fi of babies don't turn out super well also it was user error on my part because it was the first batch of fry that I had raised and I was keeping them in a small space because well, it was fine at first, but you know, they kept growing and they outgrew it before I really realized it had happened. So they were in too small of a container. They were getting hungry and crowded and they started nipping at each other's tails and then I think there also was like a little bit of fin rot going on. So then when I realized that, I moved them into a bigger space, but I think it had been too late. I gave them a lot of time and I even added salt to the water to see if their fins would heal, but I kind of feel like since it happened when they were so young, it kind of scarred their fins and they're never going to develop properly so I was down to only about five and then I just called down to two I think and I'm just gonna see how these ones develop so that's an overview of all the fish and tanks in my fish room right now and next we're gonna go upstairs and look at the 75 gallon tank with the three adult ghost bristols in it these three are doing super well the small the one that was the smallest which is haunt um, she used to be like really tiny compared to the other ones, but she has now um, caught up in, in size to the other ones and she's actually, I think, larger in body mass than the other ones now, so she was definitely a late bloomer. She hasn't shown any, I'm pretty sure it's a female, because I did see Poltergeist, the male, chasing her a little bit, but she hasn't really shown any interest in spawning and she hasn't spawned yet even though he's chased her a little bit, so I do think that she is a female, but she's probably just a late bloomer or something like that. I do hope to get some fry from her eventually because I really like her more compact fins as compared to the other ones, I think, and her body shape too, I really like a lot. I think she is more like the modern Bristol as opposed to the classic Bristol. So the classic Bristol has a more elongated and thin body and a larger tail that's more heart-shaped. The modern Bristol has a more compact body, a little bit taller shoulders, not super tall, but a little bit taller body, and then a sh slightly shorter tail, so just more compact looking, I guess. And instead of coming out in an angle, like a heart shape, the tail actually comes almost straight up, you know, as close to straight up as possible, more like a B shape. I prefer the modern Bristol body and fin type and I feel like Haunt looks more like a modern Bristol, so I would love to get some fry from her if possible. Next month, so at the end of February, I'm going to be doing a six month update on these guys. The last in-depth video where I showed you guys these fish was back when I first got them and they were way tinier and so now I've had them for about, well, next month I will have had them for six months. So I'm going to do an update kind of comparing what they looked like when I first got them and what they look like now because there's a huge difference and it's really awesome to see. And you guys can see this like these gems that I have in here. I actually got these from Target, believe it or not. They're made of resin so they're safe to put in the tank and they're heavy enough so that they sink. And I just thought they were so pretty. The smaller one was about $13 and the bigger one was $15 or something like that, just right from Target. 
and I think that it really gives like a whimsical fantasy almost look to the tank which matches the fish really well so I think it's really cool and I really like them. So that's all I have for you this week guys. Thank you so much for watching and tuning in and I will see you next week. Sammy! Sammy!